In this podcast episode, Dan Bongino, a former New York City Police Department officer and Secret Service agent under Presidents Bush and Obama, joins the host to discuss a range of topics, including the current political landscape, economic policies, and recent events. Bongino, who hosts The Dan Bongino Show on Rumble, shares his insights on President Biden, the Federal Reserve's stance on rate cuts, and the impact of inflation on the economy. The conversation also covers Nikki Haley's endorsement of Donald Trump, Harrison Butker's controversial speech, and the evolving landscape of cable news. Dan Bongino begins by analyzing the current political climate, particularly focusing on President Biden. He emphasizes that political campaigns are often about snapshots and soundbites, where a candidate's ability to present themselves effectively in brief moments is crucial. He criticizes Biden for his lack of charisma and connection with the public, citing recent gaffes and questionable statements as evidence of his shortcomings. The discussion then shifts to the economy, where Bongino and the host examine the Federal Reserve's stance on rate cuts. They analyze statements from Christopher Waller, a Federal Reserve governor, and David Solomon, CEO of Goldman Sachs, discussing the impact of inflation on consumer spending and the potential risks associated with rate cuts. Bongino suggests that a Reagan-style approach to the economy, which focuses on incentivizing investment, could be beneficial in addressing current economic challenges. The podcast also touches on various current events, including Nikki Haley's endorsement of Donald Trump. Bongino and the hosts discuss the significance of this endorsement and its potential impact on the political landscape. They delve into the implications of Haley's decision and what it means for the upcoming elections, highlighting the dynamics within the conservative movement and the challenges of navigating differing opinions within the party. Another topic covered is a speech by Harrison Butker, a player for the Kansas City Chiefs at a graduation ceremony. Butker's remarks about the importance of marriage and motherhood received backlash from some who felt it was dismissive of women's career aspirations. Bongino defends Butker's speech, citing freedom of speech and the importance of respecting differing viewpoints. He emphasizes the value of traditional family structures and the role they play in society. The conversation also addresses the concept of being woke and how it has evolved over time. Bongino explains the origins of the term and how it has been co-opted and weaponized by different groups. He discusses the changing dynamics of political discourse and the challenges of navigating ideological differences in today's society. Additionally, the podcast delves into the issue of terrorism and the complexities of international relations. Bongino shares his views on the conflict between Israel and Palestine, highlighting the moral implications of supporting terrorist organizations. He emphasizes the importance of understanding the nuances of global conflicts and the need for informed decision-making. The conversation then shifts to a clip featuring Sonny Hostin from CNN, where she questions the effectiveness of the current administration's actions regarding immigration. Bongino criticizes the administration's approach, pointing out the disingenuous nature of their statements and highlighting the authority the president has to address immigration issues. He discusses the increasing number of illegal immigrants entering the country, with statistics showing a significant rise in encounters and apprehensions over the years. Bongino, drawing from his experience in law enforcement, explains the challenges of dealing with such a large number of illegal immigrants and the implications for national security and electoral politics. Bongino also addresses the role of illegal immigration in shaping electoral outcomes, expressing concern about potential voter fraud and manipulation. He emphasizes the importance of addressing these issues to ensure fair and transparent elections. The podcast also features a discussion on the changing landscape of cable news. Bongino shares his views on the decline of traditional media outlets and the rise of alternative platforms. He emphasizes the importance of owning one's content and not relying on corporate entities for distribution. He highlights the potential pitfalls of paywalls and the need for content creators to build their own audience and brand. He stresses the importance of authenticity and not trying to please everyone as it can lead to a lack of credibility with the audience. 
The conversation also touches on the economic challenges facing the Biden administration, particularly in terms of inflation and public perception. Bongino criticizes the previous administration for economic policies that led to a false sense of success and the rise of zombie companies. He emphasizes the importance of allowing companies to fail in a capitalist system to maintain its integrity. The discussion then shifts to a New York Post article highlighting the financial struggles of parents due to inflation. A survey reveals that 64% of parents with children under 18 feel financially insecure, with inflation being a major concern. Bongino and the Host analyze the impact of inflation on housing prices, with a Wall Street Journal article reporting a decrease in home sales in April. High mortgage rates and record prices are cited as factors contributing to the slowdown in the housing market. They predict a possible correction in the real estate market as buyers may struggle to afford homes with higher interest rates. Bongino challenges the argument that the increase in money supply will drive up home prices, pointing out that the distribution of wealth plays a crucial role. He highlights how the majority of the newly printed money flows to the top earners, leading to a significant increase in their net worth. The discussion also touches on the shift of investment from traditional assets like gold to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, reflecting changing preferences among investors. Bongino emphasizes the importance of understanding these shifts and their implications for the broader economy.